That's Salt Lake City native Trevor Lewis helping the LA Kings breeze into the Stanley Cup Finals. They go 12-2 and en route to the Cup Finals. Kings skating for the Stanley Cup for just the second time in franchise history. First one, of course, 1993 with Wayne Gretzky. They'll face a New Jersey Devils team into the Cup Finals for the fifth time. Devils trying to win it for the fourth time. The teams met twice in the regular season. Jersey won both of them, but as we know, that means absolutely nothing right now. Joining us now to share Trevor Lewis's amazing story, Trevor's dad, Randy. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks. It's what? been a great ride. It's been unbelievable. From eighth seed, you knock off the one, and then from then on, and there weren't a lot of extra games. They just, they just rolled through everybody. Yeah. Well, I said with three weeks left in the season, I said I'd hate to play the Kings in the playoffs right now, the way they're playing. And it's life like being Trevor's dad. Well, it's incredible. I have to pinch myself all the time. Like I said on Facebook, uh, the first round, I said, don't wake me up. The dream just keeps getting better. Yeah. I'm not waking up for two more weeks. So. Yeah, absolutely. You got to go get this thing. Trevor, just the seventh, seventh native Utah to play for a major pro sports championship. You grew up loving hockey in Alberta, but tell us where Trevor developed his unbelievable hockey skills here in Utah. And every day after work, I'd take him skating from age two on. So. You know, when he started playing, he was already a good skater. What's the best thing you told him when he was young? I was just glad that uh, he loved hockey because uh, if he didn't love hockey, he was going to hate life. So <laughs> <laughs> there you go, the iron fist. So at 15, and he's pretty much reached the end here, and he moves to Colorado. Yeah, he had to leave town, unfortunately, to get scouted. And it's the hardest thing I ever had to do is leave him over there at 15. Yeah. You know, I wasn't just losing a son, my best friend. So yeah. uh, it was tough, but it was the right thing to do, I guess. Here is your best friend. Talk about Stanley Cup karma. Here is Trevor joining us on our voice line brought to you by Xfinity. Trevor, thanks for joining us here tonight on Sports Beat Sunday. You, you have to be on cloud nine. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a great ride. I mean, uh, it's pretty, pretty crazy to think we're we're going to the Stanley Cup final. You had four assists, uh, I think, in the first three wins in the Phoenix series. You are right in the middle of Stanley Cup fever. How has it grown round to round with the Kings and with your fans over there? It's uh, pretty crazy. I mean, uh, I think at practice today we had uh, more fans than I've ever seen, and uh, it's it's crazy. Around here we used to not get recognized too much, but uh, we went to dinner last night and. Uh, as we were walking out, everyone started clapping and chanting "Go Kings, Go!" So it was it was, uh, it was a little different, but it's it's been awesome, and we're getting some great support out here. What has uh, Randy met in your life? Uh, he's been great. I mean, he's been my coach my whole life. Uh, taught me everything I know about hockey, so it's been great and um, a lot of fun. It was 2002 Winter Olympics. Is that what yeah. the time we're talking about? The yeah. cup was over at West Valley City and. Uh, Trevor went to touch it, I guess, and you said you, you, you don't do that because there's the legend, you know, if you touch the cup, you never win it. Yeah. I didn't really think at the time that he <laughs> had a chance to win it, but here he is. I didn't really understand why I couldn't touch it because uh, um, everyone else was touching it, but uh, it's, it's probably a good thing that I didn't. Four more wins, and uh, he'll be doing it for real. Yeah, is you that know, true? Not only that, you have his name on the cup. Yeah, if they win the cup, I can ask you, will the cup come back here for the 24 hours that that Trevor gets the cup. I'm not going to ask him because I know he won't address it, but will it come back to Utah? Yes, it will. It will. <clears throat> yes. I may sleep with it. but <laughs> <laughs> It'll be you and some, a lot of people, huh? Yeah. Trevor, best of luck. We'll be following you. Of course, uh, you have a, another fan base here in Salt Lake City and throughout Utah. Good luck against the Devils in the Stanley Cup Finals right here on NBC and KSL 5. Go get it, Trevor. Go. All right, thanks a lot. All right, and then for you, sir, the folks Thank at you. Texas Roadhouse want to make sure you're well fed. We have uh, gift certificates for you to go get a meal. And uh, we are going through the OGO catalog. It's OGO.com. If you're out there and you want to pick out a good, nice travel bag, you're going to be going back to New Jersey for game two. You'll need a travel bag. And we appreciate your coming in, and we get a lot of wow. Kings fans now. Okay, great. Thanks. Okay, you bet.